Don't get concrete on the concrete. Hi everyone, welcome back to Lake Lot Build. It's been a while since we talked to you, but we have been working on projects. And so today we're going to be finishing our driveway. So come along and we'll show it to you. So we were able to have the driveway poured last week. We are so excited. John, are you excited? He's excited. So we've got this nice little three or four inch lip and now we need to make an approach. We were hoping that one day maybe the county will pave this road and then uh, incorporate our driveway a little bit better, but we can't wait any longer. So we're going to go ahead and make our own approach to the driveway today. So what are you doing over here, John? Oh, I'm just playing in mud. So what I'm going to do, we got ourselves some bags of quick creek. And so let's take a look and I'll show you where I'm going to place it. So we have the edge of our concrete. I won't be able to drive up on it. I don't want to be able to chip this when you drive up on it. I don't know when or if the county is ever going to fix this road, but it has a slope towards us. And so I want to be able to not have the water on the road make it onto the driveway. So that is why I set this up on top instead of digging the dirt out and making that flush with mm. it. So, that, so what we're going to do is make us a ramp something about like that and so we got our bags of concrete and we'll make us a little ramp here now if the county ever comes by i'm not going to dowel this or anything if we need to we can always come in pry bar and chip this out if the county does come by or if we do something different on the road but for right now we're just making a ramp and if it breaks we'll just get some more concrete and we'll pour some more concrete <laughs> now i can already hear your questions why did you guys just not have the people who poured the driveway pour the approach? It's a decent question. <laughs> and the answer is that we had a very specific price to get this driveway done. We actually prepped the um, dirt and had everything laid out perfectly so that we could actually get the price down even off of what is industry standard right now what market price for concrete is we actually came in a little bit under that because we did a lot of the labor beforehand um, so if you watch our videos you know our budget's actually tight for this house so what we're going to do is my mix is not real runny so it has what's called a low slump so we're gonna see if our measurements of how many bags of concrete that we have if it's even gonna get close to what we need so after this we'll go back in and smooth it yeah let me get a, we need to let it give it a little chance to uh, start setting up Try not to get concrete on our fresh concrete. I'm sure if I was better at concrete, we'd be like, well, you need to put something over that so you don't get it on it. And I'm sure that is probably a true statement. You guys have been with us long enough to know we don't do everything exactly the way a professional would do it because we're do-it-yourselfers. <laughs> but we do things pretty well. Hey, I think it's turned out pretty well, especially when you have a professional come in and pour your driveway. <laughs> Yes, now we did have the driveway poured. We had considered uh, laying brick and doing a brick driveway. And you know, everything you hear about brick driveways is that they last forever, which is so true. But they're very labor intensive and they cost about three times what a regular driveway costs, unless you're doing it yourself, which is what we would have done. But eventually we decided quick and easy sometimes wins the day.
right, here we go. Round two of can only be four rounds. <laughs> That's all there could be. So we'll see how far we get today. I keep trying to shoot around the uh, firearms going off in the background. <laughs> For you uh, international, <laughs> international audience. Yes, it is in the United States, and this does happen. This someone, is, someone is target practicing. <laughs> and it sounds like he's got a big gun. I don't know if it's picking up on the uh, microphone or not, but we're out here laughing because uh, there's been a lot of, a lot of gunfire this morning. It sounds like they're literally right on the other side of the hill. <laughs> I know all of our Europeans are like, what? Does that really happen in America? Yes. <laughs> Especially our part. Yes, it does. <laughs> so you were saying you you made this batch a little bit drier even than the first batch? Yeah, I want to make this even a little more. You see how it, it doesn't have much flow as it comes off and see how it breaks? Yeah. Let's see if this low slump has any... Uh, properties you like better than the other one yes, then. Yes, my high tech. Your high tech gauges. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. See how it doesn't move at all? Yeah. Alright, let's try let's shoot for that next one. See how that one has, see how it pushes? And that one doesn't. Okay. So you like the second batch I better? I so. Okay. I just get to smooth all the gaps out of it. Okay, on to bags three and four. I know some people are gonna wanna see exactly how we're doing it, so. This is exactly, this is how, exactly we're how we're doing it. Yes, very scientific. Yeah, went to the local hardware store and got Quick Creek. Yep, and there you have it. And there you have it, kids. And this is uh, this is my leftover drywall spoon uh -huh. that I used while I'm doing drywall. So now it's my concrete spoon. And the reason I use it is because it has a curve, and the curve fits my bucket, <laughs> so I can. You see? Yes. Yeah. And so when you <laughs> scrape it, it's like the best tool I've ever bought for. I don't know. I guess, I guess getting anything out of a bucket. Yeah, because it doesn't, otherwise it just leaves the lines and leaves yeah. the gap. No. But I should have been at that. <laughs> we have snow coming in. It's going to be here in a couple hours. Hopefully by the time the snow gets here, our little concrete approach will be setting up. So we were saying before, if we were professionals, we'd tape off the driveway and have a little tarp or something on there. But we're, do -I we're do-it-yourselfers. So uh, we just got a little bit of the new concrete on the fresh concrete, so we just washed it off. No big deal. Oops. <laughs> Did I do that? Johnny is concentrating really hard now because we just felt the uh, <laughs> cold front come in. Yeah. <laughs> we just felt the super, super cold air come in on us. We were like, well, there's the cold front. Yeah, we might have to, we'll check the radar. We might have to cover this tonight if it actually gets below freezing. But the radar this morning said no. It's supposed to be cold, but not freezing. Okay. So if it does rain, we'll get some plastic out and put over this so that it doesn't erode it too bad. Hopefully, it will uh, set up here and won't cause us any problems. But, if it's but we've got one bag left, and it no, looks I'm to me. To wrap the corner there, and then go down and wrap that corner there. Okay. I got to thinking if somebody comes down that road and hits the end of that, that'll help that's me. a that'll take a tire out. That's a tire popper. Yeah. Yeah, these ends are definitely tire poppers. Yeah. 
show. So, uh, can you tell us what you're doing now? So, I'm doing a uh, little-known ancient Roman uh, technique. It's, it's kind of a padding. You just gotta talk softly to it, become <laughs> one with the concrete. Just a nice little concrete massage. Uh -huh. Some people call it jitterbugging, but I call it just uh, massage. Massage, yes. yes. It's well known amongst the uh, ancient Robans and their concrete techniques. Yes, yes. So. Well, and that's part of that. I mean, we know that this is just temporary. This is literally just trying to give ourselves a little bit of an approach. And we're hoping that, you know, here in the next year or so, the county will come through and pave this road. Or the HOA will come together and we'll uh, get something done on this road. So this really is kind of our temporary fix for now. Okay, so now we are just going to go ahead and cover up that new approach. It is cold out here tonight. We want to trap that heat in a little bit. Let that concrete cure out properly. That's why we're doing it, right John? What you got? Trap that heat in there. Uh, yeah, and the other one is that if it does rain, I... Uh... I'm gonna make sure that we're not messing it up. Yep, so if it rains, it won't get the little divots or the little marks in the concrete. All right, well, this has been another episode of Lake Lot Build. Thank you so much for joining us. John, you wanna say goodbye till next time? Almost done, kiddos. <laughs> right around the corner. That's right, this is one of our last projects, and uh, next video we'll be taking you in showing you the living room, half bath, and kitchen that are all complete. Come back and see us. Bye. Actually, geometry is incredibly useful. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff in math, maybe not, but geometry, algebra, that's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs>